the first thing I'm going to do in the demo is paste all the code into the custom extempore REPL. And we can look at our session, see all the commands that we've pasted in order indexed for easy reference. Now I'm going to start up the sequence, progression. And initially it's just the sound effects channels playing. And I'm going to slowly bring up the background pads. With the accompanying tracks is coming up in volume now. Sort of a space organ sound. And what you're hearing is the chord transitions being played, as you can see in the terminal window. And this is the Markov chain in action. So for every chord that's currently being played, when it's time to switch, it looks at the available legal ones that it can transition to, and then it selects one. How long, how loud, these are all determined um, in our function, our progression function. Easily changeable, both in real time and, um, and ahead of time. And now we're going to bring up the sequencer tracks. The sequencer is defined here. This is also possible to do in pure LFE. We're doing everything in extemporary right now. And that's where the progression actually starts the sequencer. And the sequencer is selecting its chords and notes depending upon the current progressions being played. And we can see in the plugin the notes actually being played. Again, all of this coming from the LFE REPL, or rather LFE running the extemporary REPL. sound here on the Berlin School. And now we've just transitioned back from major into the minor key. All the progressions played so far. actually be done in uh, with LFE code, the tweaking that we're doing right now with the knobs. There's another demo that shows exactly how to do that. Just changing the frequency of the filter. You'll hear a few glitches here and there. Um, I had some problems with overloaded plugins and uh, buffers, so if you can forgive that, I'd appreciate it. Bring the frequency back down.